Hello, my name is Rachel, and I don't even know how to classify this video. I guess I like toys? <laughs> so, summer is pretty much here. Well, it's spring at least. The weather is warming up, and I hate exercising, but I want, I want, I need to move more. I need more movement in my life. So I'm trying to find some sort of fun hobby that is actually secretly exercise on this side. So I decided, let's try hula hooping. It might be like a lot of my hobbies go where I pick them up for like a week or two and then forget about them. But who knows? Who knows? Maybe this will be something that I enjoy in sticks, like chain and scale mail has stuck for about 10-ish years, maybe longer. So occasionally, sorry, occasionally a hobby does, does stick. <laughs> I wonder how long that was flipped like that. Anyway, <laughs> I'm not starting over. <laughs> but yeah, so I bought these, these are from Amazon, by the way, and there will be Amazon associate links down in the description box below, as always. <laughs> but this is, you can tell from the picture there, this is a hula hoop exerciser. It has like this weight thing on it that you make spin around. But I got this because I've never really been able to hula hoop. And I'm hoping uh, if I use this, it will teach me the, the motion needed to properly hula hoop. Plus it's a, like an exercise thingy and I've heard people say that it's a lot of fun. So we'll find out. And then I got this. This was like, I wanna say that the exerciser thingy was maybe close to $20. This was only 12 or $13, I can't remember how much, but it's an actual hula hoop. <laughs> but it's a weighted hula hoop that is in like chunks that you put together. So, I don't know how that's going to go, but we'll find out. I'm going to, to put it together for you guys here. And also this came with fitness sliders, which I'm not real sure what you do with, but apparently they, they like slide across your floor. Like one side slides across hard floors and the other side's supposed to slide across carpets. I don't know. I'll have to do some YouTubing on that to figure out how to use those. And then I went to a, a five below. I found one of these. I used to love these when I was little. The little where you like put it around your ankle and you spin and skip it. And I'm not 100% sure I'll be able to do this simply because with the arthritis in my feet, things that where you kind of have to be on kind of tiptoe, which I seem to remember having to be on tiptoe a lot for this, don't always, don't work out for me anymore. <laughs> but it was $5 and it lights up. <laughs> or at least it says it lights up. I won't know until I actually try it. <sighs> so... Let's let's put these things together. Well, this doesn't need to be put together. And then we're going to actually try them. <laughs> I don't know if I have enough room. I'm hoping there's enough room here in the middle of this room that I'll be able to just try them right here and not have to go outside or anything. But let's start with putting this together. So let me, interesting, it's super light. It says it's weighted, but so far I'm not feeling the weight. I guess maybe when you just put all the pieces together, it becomes weighted <laughs> but let's see here how would this go oh okay so there's i'm gonna have to figure out aha okay so apparently there's this little tab right there and then there's this little buttony thing here that actually does press down so you gotta i guess press that in there and then did not did not click okay so it appears to have clicked <laughs> i was kind of expecting it to make an audible sound but no sound okay, let's try this again it's like we were doing so well Okay, that was a little bit of a fight on that last one. It just did not want to grab into the little like hole that it pops into. Uh, so I fixed that by removing another one. And then that gave me the maneuverability I needed, I guess, to get that slid in place. And that one already clicked in easily. So there we go. And I guess it is weighted. It does feel a little bit heavy. I don't know anything about hula hoops. So I don't know if this is like the right thickness. I don't know if heavy is better. <laughs> Cause like maybe for 
the hula hoop stuff, dancing stuff you see, maybe lighter is better? I have no idea. I, I haven't done any research on hula hooping, but I'm really fascinated by, by the people who dance with the hula hoops, do the really cool. So I'm really fascinated by that. And that's what I would like to eventually get to, but I, like I said, I have no idea if this is the right choice for that. <laughs> this might be, I might be going in the totally wrong direction. I should have really done some research beforehand, but if nothing else, a weighted hula hoop is supposed to be good exercise. <laughs> but like I said, I'm not good at hula hooping. So that's why we got this other device. Also, I'm not sure if that's too big or not big enough. I don't know how you know these things. I don't know, <laughs> but let's get this put together. And this is a bunch of little sections you snap together and it's hopefully this is enough to fit me <laughs> i didn't even think about that like what if this isn't the right size i don't know hmm how does this go together oh <sighs> okay so there's this little part there and then the corresponding one has the little you know like male and female parts so you just click in and then there's a little latch that you have to push over to lock it in place so and then these are supposed to be like massagey but I'm wondering if they'll hurt we'll find out won't we okay so let me and actually each one of these sections is two so you have even more adjustability there but like I said I'm hoping this is enough to fit around my waist <laughs> you can buy extra sections but I would hate to have to do that <laughs> just starting out. Okay. Oh yeah, that, that should fit me. Yeah. I might, I don't know if I might have to take one or two out maybe. I don't know. We'll find out here in a second. And then this is the weight <laughs> and this is cute. This like, they all have different style like weights I've noticed, but this one is like faux fur. <laughs> And it is pretty weighty and you can adjust the strap because I believe the further you put it from yourself, probably the he you know, more strenuous your workout and the closer is probably easier. So we're going to start with it closer, of course. And this slides on, I'm going to say like this maybe. Yeah, so that slides on here and hopefully that smooth, has a smooth movement to it. And let's... I'll change the camera angle in a minute. I just first want to see, like it's supposed to fit kind of loose. I think I can get rid of a section actually. And for reference, I do have a 33 inch waist. So this actually was big enough for me with, and I was able, even able to remove one section because I think it's supposed to fit like loose on your hip right there. I should probably read instructions, huh? <laughs> It just says the size of your waist. It doesn't really specify if it should be loose or not. Okay, so we're going to change the camera angle and we're going to give this a shot. Of your so I actually did wind up removing just one more section because like maybe the sections came in two pieces. But I did remove one more because I felt like it was just too floppy and be hard to get a good motion with. But I th think this should be right. But I mean, <laughs> try not to hit anything. Let's see here. I'm not even sure. Like I said, I can't hula hoop, so I'm not sure. <laughs> okay, this is definitely going to take some practice. <laughs> Okay, it just jammed, so that's not a good sign. Oh, it's not its fault. It got caught on my ribbon, because this dress has a ribbon in the back, and it totally caught the ribbon. <laughs> so, yeah, so this dress is not the, the best garment to practice this with. <laughs> Oops, <sighs> try again. Oh, did it again. Okay, so yeah, I, I definitely, <laughs> need, need a different garment. Okay, maybe if I let's do this. <laughs> there we go. Let's try it now. <laughs> I know, ridiculous, right? But let's, let's give it another try. Okay. 
I, I'm, I really am going to need a lot of practice. I'm just, I don't, I don't know how to hold loop, guys. <laughs> I think I think this is going to be fun to, to learn though. So obviously I'm not going to keep doing it here. <laughs> but let's let's try. I'm actually let's let's see if I can actually try this thing. <laughs> it does light up. <laughs> I don't know if you're seeing that, but it does light up. <laughs> okay, so that that part's true. <laughs> Let me take this off cuz it's probably not a good idea to be jumping with this thing on. <laughs> like I said, that's I think that'll be a lot of fun to play with, but I don't know how consistent I'll be. <laughs> Maybe I'll give myself like a 30 day challenge with it and force myself to film it every day for like 30 day, 10 minute a day challenge or some something like that. Would you, would you, you guys even want to watch a video like that? I mean, I can do it anyway, just for my own accountability, but <laughs> let me know if you have any interest in, in me doing something like that. Like I could take to see, and we can even see if it does anything. Like I can take a waist measurement when I start and then take a waist measurement at the end of 30 days. <laughs> but okay, so here's this and I really don't know if I'm going to have enough room in here. <laughs> okay. A couple things. This might work better if I have shoes on. Because with the bare feet, it just, it just sweats the fly rate off. But shoes would probably keep it on. However, I feel like it might not be heavy enough. I feel like the ones I used to have, the, the, the end part was heavier. So I'm not 100% sure how that's going to work. But anyway, um, <laughs> unfortunately, I can't really give you a good demonstration because all it did was fly off. <laughs> but I can show you the ball lighting up. Here. The, uh... Ooh, let me turn the other light off too. I'm probably looking pretty spooky. But... So, so the ball does light up and that's pretty fun. I like that. So hopefully I have to try it outside with shoes on because I also don't think I had enough room here. I think I hit something immediately. <laughs> Lights back on. So yeah, I'm going to have to give this a, a good go outside. <laughs> and, and if I get that done before, well, although I probably won't because I probably don't have time to play with this. But if I do somehow manage to fit it in before I like flipping my necklace over uh, before I uh, edit this video I will like put in the comments somewhere if it actually did if I actually did get that to work but I just feel like it's too everything about it just feels so light I don't know I'll, I'll find out eventually and then the final thing is this hoop which is huge <laughs> for some reason I wasn't expecting it to be so big I mean I'm, fi I'm only 5'3 so I guess keep that in mind but you can see it goes from the top of my head to right below my crotch area. So, or if we want to do it the other way, it goes from my feet to basically my waist. So, I mean, I guess that's that's a good size hoop. Um, I have very little clearance room. And like I said, I, I don't, I can't hold a hoop. I wonder, like, technically uh, you're supposed to be able to make this smaller. I wonder if smaller is better because like I said I know nothing nothing about hula hooping so I have no idea <laughs> I'm, I'm going to destroy things aren't I I'm just going to make a mess of things <laughs> but let's see here let's try one more time I feel like I cleared most things <laughs> almost I got I think I got it to stay up for a couple revolutions or res Revolutions? Yeah, re revolves around, so revolutions. It doesn't sound right, though, because that sounds like I'm, I'm about to revolt, not revolve. I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> I feel like it. I actually got it to spin a couple of times before it plummeted to the ground. <laughs> ah. <laughs> so anyway, but yeah, like I want to learn all those cool dancing moves. The only thing I remember about hula hoops, I don't know if you guys used to do this, where you'd get the back spin, so it would be like a boomerang or it would spin out and then come back at you. I don't have enough room here, I think, to make that happen. But yeah, you can kind of do it. <laughs> but this is 
it is a weighted hula hoop I mean it's not heavy it's probably maybe a pound but still like it's heavier than those hollow plastic ones that I used as a child for sure so I think this will be a lot of fun if I can actually stick to it <laughs> and maybe I'll learn something and I don't know as usual if I do if I do make some progress I'll take you guys along on the journey with me and we can we can do some hula hooping videos <laughs> watch me learn to hula hoop dance <laughs> like I have no idea guys no idea at all but <laughs> one more time one more time and then then we can be done <laughs> all right obviously I'm gonna need a ton of practice so much practice I'm hoping that trainer will help me get that motion down so that, that's kind of my thought process behind it. The trainer thingy, uh, not only being an exercise device thingy, but hopefully I'm hoping it'll get me to get that hip movement down. Just get that, you know, because you got to get the right rhythm to keep it up. And then hopefully through training with that, I will be able to be more successful with the actual hoop. <laughs> but if any of you are, are hula hoopers or enjoy hula hooping, <laughs> Let me know. Give me some tips down in the comments below. Direct me to if there if you know of any good like instructional videos. Direct me to any good instructional videos. I, I just I think it will be a lot of fun. I need to move more. I'm already like just from this tiny little bit of movement. I'm out of breath because I am so out of shape, and I really need to move more. <laughs> and I'm hoping by fun toys like this, it'll encourage me this summer to get out there and play and move more because <laughs> I'm, I'm the type of person who I can't just exercise for the sake of exercising. I mean, I have an exercise bike that I'll occasionally get on while watching TV, but then like I get so bored even watching TV <laughs> that I usually am, don't do more than like half hour before I'm like over it. <laughs> and then that's not even at a, a like a super fast pace or anything. So it's not like I'm actually getting good exercise or anything from it. Oh my goodness. So I really need to find a good moving hobby like once upon a time I would do indoor rock climbing but once the arthritis hit my feet and my big toe no longer bends you really need to have a flexible toes to be able to properly rock climb so I can't do the indoor rock climbing anymore I haven't been able to in years but that used to be like my main playing exercise <sighs> dancing I used to go out as much as three nights a week and dance I was in great shape back then but you know there aren't that many I mean I don't have the nights off for it anymore working night shift even if I could find three places that I have fun dancing at because <sighs> like I mean really I'll dance to anything <laughs> but I would prefer like um, an 80s night or a goth night or an industrial night something along those lines but I, I will dance to anything you can <laughs> if you want to take me to any other type of bar hip-hop country even like I'm not my least favorite I'll be honest is like rave house all that sort of that those are my least favorite but I'll still go and dance I'll still go with you and I'll still dance <laughs> but yeah so you can take me anywhere and I'll, I'll still dance but I have I of course have my preferences <laughs> but there I mean first I work nights so that's not really feasible anymore I guess I could dance at home but that's not the same it's not as much fun you know <sighs> of course the, the alcohol probably helps <laughs> and I don't drink when I'm alone <laughs> but anyway that's that's all for this video I mean I know it probably wasn't super exciting but I hope you were at least amused at my uh hula hooping efforts <laughs> and thank you guys so much for watching like I said tell me down below your experiences with hula hooping um or maybe you've tried this exercise device what you think of this if you'd be interested in seeing like a 30-day challenge video with this thing i mean <laughs> that would be good for me because it would keep me accountable and make me do it for 30 days straight but of course i wouldn't be able to start that until after i get back from the beach next week because i don't want to do three days and then skip a week <laughs> but i would start that of course when i got back from the beach but that might be something to do like you know, obviously I wouldn't make you watch me do it for 10 minutes every day. I would just check in every day on the video and be like, it's day one. We're going, you know, and then show you a couple revolutions and then, 
<laughs> do that for I mean I know that would get really boring for 30 days but you know just to just the check-in day one day two day three <laughs> I can make that quick and probably get all 30 days in in like a couple of minutes <laughs> But let me know if that would even interest you. I mean, it might be interesting just to see if there are any results in 30 days. Like, because like I said, we would take waist measurements before and waist measurements after and see if there's actually any waist trimming going on from it. I know that you can't spot reduce, but it is, you know, a form of aerobic exercise. So it is possible I could still lose uh, some inches. I don't own a scale, so I wouldn't be able to do a weigh-in. Maybe I should buy a scale before I start that. And then we can also do a you know, before we wait and at the end of 30 day and see if that changed any at all either. But anyway, let me know what you think about all those ideas down in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching and for humoring me on this. <laughs> and if you did enjoy the video, <laughs> okay, if you did enjoy the video, <laughs> please give me a thumbs up. If you didn't enjoy the video, feel free to give me a thumbs down and please tell us all about it in the comments below. And please subscribe to the channel. And I hope everyone is just staying happy, healthy, and safe in this incredibly crazy world we're living in. And I will talk to you all soon. Bye-bye!